Next on list here, we've got some interesting news regarding interesting news here regarding human made. So this is courtesy of Hypebeast, and it says here that Cause is now an advisor for Nigo's um, label, Human Made. It's the label that he started after he essentially got kicked out of running um, um, a bathing ape after basically IT bought it because of all the debts that they were basically accumulating because Nigo's one of the only people, I think, in streetwear overall who kind of went kind of semi-bankrupt or ran out of money because he was doing stuff at such a high level. He decided to kind of pour every single bit of money he was making into basically producing really good garments or really high-quality garments. Every, you know, he paid crazy attention to detail, to labels, to packaging, to merchandising, to store interiors, architecture, like just crazy stuff, website design, um, everything in general was kind of you know went crazy the cafe and i think essentially that basically cost him his business and then overall it had to take it over and now it are basically killing that brand right they're bleeding it dry these crappy new balance collaborations they've got adidas ones are just terrible stuff but then nigo went on and obviously did what nigo does like most of those kind of core japanese guys they kind of always you know decide to jump on and do other brands which i always love the fact that they keep reinventing themselves another you know guy that i kind of look up to hiroshi fujiwara who's got fragment He's the kind of guy that kind of just kind of, you know, he's got so many brands that he kind of did when he was coming up and he just kind of started one, dropped it, did another one, dropped it, did another one, dropped it. And you just kind of have all these cool ideas. And when you look back, you have this amazing archive and catalog of all these amazing projects that you started that all kind of, you know, a snapshot of the time that you're around, but also have different aesthetic, different feel. And then usually what happens is that all those different projects that you do kind of feed into the final thing that you're kind of known for and i think you're kind of seeing that with obviously what nigo is doing nowadays and obviously he's kind of going to become kento designer blah 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 anyway human made is kind of going for a bit of a lull it feels like um so maybe it made sense to kind of bring cause in especially when you consider you know he's linked to streetwear the fact that he's an og og for real for real in the scene and not a cringy one and the fact that he had his own brand too back in the day called original fake that i thought was really underrated and i'm, I'm not really sure why that, why that why that ceased to exist i'm assuming because the sales weren't good but overall he's definitely got a good eye and definitely somebody that you could kind of trust to kind of go in there and sprinkle some of his star magic and maybe do what skate thing used to do for bait back in the day because skate thing was on the you know graphic designers who was basically responsible for creating some of the great graphics that bait was known for the bait head design and those other things and camo designs and also so maybe cause is going to kind of step in and do the same sort of thing with human made going forward because it is a bit of a lull and of course with nigo doing kenzo now maybe his time is taken up doing that and he needs somebody to kind of help out you know with with um with human made day to day but this is the article courtesy of hype piece it says, taken to Instagram, Nigo shared that Cause will now serve as an advisor to Otsumo Co. Limited. Otsumo, the parent company of Human Made, um, covers a wide range of lifestyle and related businesses and centers around making life on Earth more interesting from the street. I'm sharing his excitement from the appointment. Cause said, Nigo and Tokyo Street Culture are a source of my design inspiration throughout the series of my collaboration with Human Made. Otsumo's um, vision for making life more interesting from the street has always resonated with me, and I'm I'm excited to join the team as an advisor to help them bring more ideas to life which is pretty cool it has been about 30 years since i first met cause and since then we have collaborated on various projects together i feel very assured to have him so reassured to have him as an advisor for Tsuma future um we both come from the streets continue to see each other grow professionally and personally and i look forward to unique ideas realized through Otsuma. thank you for joining cause the advisor position for Otsumo will build the creative power of Cause and Nigo and Cause providing a support in the company from an artistic perspective. What I like about that quote, you see how often they mentioned street. I love that these guys are still very much tied to and understand the value of streetwear and put it on the same pedestal as fashion or even higher. Because I feel like as much as I love the guys like Matthew Williams, the Tremaine at Denim Tears, Virgil, you know, before he passed away and whatnot, I feel like a lot of those guys see streetwear as a slight, even though most of them came up through streetwear, when they suddenly go into fashion and they start to do more quote unquote serious projects, they don't like to be looked at as streetwear anymore. Even Samuel Ross from a Cold War, who I'm a big fan of, he also somebody who kind of, you know, is not sometimes fond of being labeled or being boxed in for the streetwear stuff, which I don't think is limiting. I think if anything, that kind of speaks to their ability to communicate with the actual public because all those guys, it took for about Matthew Williams, Virgil before he passed, even till now, Sammy Ross, all these people 
are able to shift product, are able to sell stuff. Even look at them now, Vetemar. That Vetemar, I feel like, you know, started off as a streetwear project before. Obviously, you know, it came from a very high fashion type of person in mind, considering, you know, Demner's experience. But what he put out on the runway was very streetwear focused. A lot of hoodies, a lot of t-shirts, um, sneakers, denim, you know, hats and whatnot. All those kind of basic tenants, I feel like, of the kind of building blocks of flipping streetwear. And then over time, it then become the overriding sort of influence of cross fashion. And now it's kind of like interlinked to sort of like you can't kind of detach streetwear from fashion at all because it's always going to be a part of it, even though these fashion commentators and whatnot will keep saying that we're returning to flipping tailoring, which I always thought was like a weird racial dog whistle to get the blacks out of fashion because they hate you. They're sitting on the front row, you know, rappers smoking blunts around late and whatnot so they kind of always say we're returning to tailoring which basically meant get all the caucasians out on the runway we don't want these blacks out here anymore but i do like that these guys at the top of their game are still mentioning streetwear and still saying that these you know basically streetwear is basically responsible for their success and they're not you know ashamed of being associated with it so i love that i really do love that but the one thing i do remember my favorite thing that i love about flipping um cause i kind of just thought about now was the cause do you remember this it was a cause bape uh chompa varsity jacket this varsity jacket i remember queuing up outside the, bu the busy workshop in upper james street in london if you know you know and queuing up for hours to try and get this jacket then the store owner coming in and saying hey we only have four then the first four people that were in line basically buying one each and there was none left and then by the time we get inside the store after queuing the whole day the only thing i could buy was bape sellotape bape sellotape you you don't know that pain you don't know that pain man i, I went in there trying to buy a varsity jacket and i left with sellotape absolutely horrible but this is the jacket this jacket is an absolute grail this bape chomper jacket if you're not seeing the picture it's essentially a black varsity jacket with the cut classic kind of cores um x's on the chest and the sort of teeth design that comes across the flipping body the materials of it are gorgeous if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure the x's on the front are 3m or really high silver there's a really cool picture of i think um the clips or something wearing this jacket or maybe a omarion in one of the bape catalogs as well that i remember from back in the day but it's a hundred percent grail and something that i went to buy back in those days but it was never flipping available it's such a cool jacket man so if cause able to do something like that as an advisor um or, or sorry as a collaborator back in the day just imagine what he's gonna be able to do now as an advisor with the keys to the flipping you know factory and obviously with the ear of nigo still being there it's gonna be flipping amazing to see so I have no doubt Cause is going to be able to do something amazing over there. I can't wait to see what he ends up doing because the stuff that he did, of course, with the original fake and the coverage he did with Bape were always up my street. But this Cause Chumper Varsity jacket was definitely a grail for me and definitely something that I remember Cause created back in the day that was absolutely sick. So let's wait to see what more he has coming up when that eventually does happen, what more he has coming up when that eventually happens.